everyone. Welcome to IELTS Energy. Um, we have a special guest today, a student guest. We've had so many awesome guests lately, but today we have Paulina. Paulina, welcome to IELTS Energy. Hello. Hello, Jessica. Hello, everyone. <laughs> um, so, Paulina, tell us, where are you from? I'm from Russia. Siberia. Um, okay, all right. And why did you take the IELTS exam? Uh, my husband and I, we want to immigrate to Canada. Oh, that's awesome. Now, tell us a little bit about why you want to immigrate to Canada. Like, why do you want to change your life in such a huge way? I mean, Russia to Canada, that's, that's a big move. <laughs> yeah, it's a big move. <laughs> Actually, it's quite similar because I think the weather in Canada and in Siberia is almost the same. That's but true. The, yeah, <laughs> the quality of life, I think it's different. So that's why we've decided to do it. That's so awesome. Okay. <laughs> and now you are one step closer to that dream because yeah. you are finally done with IELTS, right? Yes, yes. <laughs> okay, all right. So let's talk about the test then. That's okay. why our listeners are here, of course. <laughs> um, tell us a little bit of background about your IELTS journey. Like, did you have to take the test more than once? How long did you prepare? Could you tell us a little bit about that? Yeah, of course, of course. So um, this time it was my fourth time when I've taken IELTS. <laughs> Oh my I started okay. to take IELTS one year ago in February. It was my first time. And every time I was uh, 0.5 points uh, back <laughs> from oh my, my target gosh. score. <laughs> <laughs> oh my gosh, that is so frustrating. We hear this so often from students. And I, I can't imagine being that close to your dream and like just not quite getting it, especially three times in a row. How did you yeah. feel like every time you open that score report or you access it online and you see again, 0 0.5, <laughs> like how did you feel at that time? Uh, so on the one hand I felt uh, okay because I felt like I don't need to change a lot. So sure. I just need to prepare a little bit more and I will get my score that I need. But on the other hand, every time uh, 0 0.5, it's, uh, it's not big, but at the same time, I, don't, I didn't know what to do. Yeah. So that's why I took your course. <laughs> okay, that's awesome. Okay, but yeah, but that is a very good point. And I want listeners to realize this also because... Uh, yeah, you're right. On the one hand, it seems like it's not huge. Like when you see that score report and you're like, okay, half a band. Mm -hmm. I can, I can do half a band. I can do this myself. Um, <laughs> but like, <laughs> according to your experience and a lot of other students out there, that half a band is actually enormous. Like that yeah. is like a huge field that we don't know how to get across. What, okay, so yeah. was it half a band in just like one specific category or like what, what exactly were your scores before? Um, twice I got 6.5 in writing uh, okay. and once I got 7.5 in listening. <laughs> okay. All right. But the listening you feel like you could take care of on your own or did Three Keys IELTS also help the listening? Yeah, it helped me also. But, you know, um, when I took IELTS by myself, when I was preparing by myself, uh, one time I managed to do the listening test on nine. <laughs> so, you know, every time it was different. <laughs> But, you know, that's another thing. Like, when you're preparing for IELTS on your own um, and you don't know exactly what to expect on the test, like how these questions are written, like how they trick you, um, what exactly the examiner wants, when you don't know all of those things, that's why your score can fluctuate, right? Because yeah, yeah. then, like, if, you, if you're not fully prepared for IELTS, then you're just like, 
hoping that you get lucky on test day and you happen to get the topics that are good for you because like that's kind of the only way you could just like luck out and be like oh yay like it all it all worked yeah, out yay. yeah but like we can't we can't depend on luck right um okay so after taking yeah, three that's true. trials <laughs> what were your most recent scores Uh, my most recent scores were uh, eight in listening, eight point five in reading, six point five in writing, and seven point five in speaking. Oh my gosh, <laughs> so actually, eight. it was not uh, what I expected to receive because again, it was six point five in writing. Okay, <laughs> so let's talk about the writing, Polina. Um, what do you what do you think happened? Like, can you tell us about your test day experience? Um, actually, everything was fine. I even uh, I finished my task in writing fifteen minutes before uh, the time ended. Oh wow! Okay. <laughs> I used the templates. I used everything, all my knowledge, uh, and I was sure that now the task would be higher than yeah. before. Uh, but again, it was 6.5. So finally, I asked for the inquiry on the results. Okay. <laughs> and, and finally, I got seven. <laughs> okay. <laughs> I was scared for a second there. I was like, yeah. wait a minute. I thought you were done with IELTS. What is the 6.5 in writing business? Oh, gosh. Okay. Um, all right. So... <laughs> listeners <laughs> she did hit that seven in writing finally 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 um let's talk about before let we'll talk about writing in a second okay <laughs> because we, that's awesome okay got that seven we'll talk about that in a second um okay. but the 8.5 <laughs> in reading also that's incredible how did you do that uh, I don't know I think reading uh every time it was the most easy part for me Awesome. Uh, and I think every time I got more than eight. So, okay. and right. especially with all your suggestions in the course, uh, I think it was very easy to get 8.5. Okay. <laughs> I want everybody to remember that statement that Paulina said that it was very easy to get an 8.5 in reading. Um, <laughs> and okay. Part of that is strategies for sure. Like we yeah, have to have strategies to save time or else we literally cannot find all the answers in an hour. But the other part of that is like reading fluency. So Paulina, yeah, do course. you, do you read a lot? Like, are you a reader? Yeah. Uh, I used to read, uh, every day I used to read one article, uh, from the newspaper Awesome. Uh, actually, I had also my own strategy that I used <laughs> beside yours. Every okay. day I had to read one article, listen to one podcast, uh, Perfect. and write one brainstorm for one essay uh, and something else, but I don't remember now. <laughs> <laughs> Because like, <laughs> as soon as you're done with IELTS, you're like, oh, forget all of that yeah. stuff. Okay, but no. that's, okay, so this is another good lesson for our listeners, though. You do have to personalize your study plan, right, to some extent. Yeah. Um, yeah. Our study plan is amazing. Like, it is sufficient. Our study plan has gotten thousands of students the scores that they need, but it is important to note that you can go beyond that. And I, and I love this, the way you personalized it, because like, you're not adding two hours a day of studying. Mm -hmm. You're, you're being very smart about how you're using your time. Like you're not writing a whole essay every day, but you're doing a brainstorm every day. And that's actually yeah. what I ask a lot of students to do because that part is where you organize your ideas. It's so important. And if students aren't good at that, then their essay isn't going to be any good either. So that is great advice. I love it. Um, okay. Thank you. <laughs> so writing. Okay. Let's talk about writing. So you got the seven. Let's focus on the seven. Um, why? Like what, what changed? If you think about your writing before three keys system and after three keys system, like what did you change in your writing? Uh, you know, I don't think that I changed a lot. Uh, actually 
this time I used the template, so I had enough time to finish all my essay, even more than <laughs> enough time. Oh, uh, usually okay. before, uh, I wrote my essay and I finished just in time. One time I even didn't finish at all. But that time I got seven. <laughs> I don't know why. <laughs> we, again, like sometimes we just luck out. And I, and I, yeah. like, it comes back to like depending on luck instead of controlling the situation, right? I mean, that's awesome that you got a seven that one time. But, um, yeah. you know, maybe the examiner was feeling very generous that day and was like, because if you didn't even finish and you got a maybe. seven, like, <laughs> that's. <laughs> That's yeah. <laughs> like that's really lucky, right? Yeah. Um okay, so templates. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Right? Like so templates helped you save a bunch of time. And so I guess it comes back to yeah. having a bunch of extra time to proofread. So when you were proofreading your essay, did you end up changing a bunch of stuff or like what did what did that do for you the proofreading? Yeah, uh, when I checked my essay, I found several mistakes. So uh, actually, it helped a lot. Uh, Mo was it like mostly grammar or vocabulary or like, did you end up changing whole sentences? Uh, no, I didn't change the whole sentences, but yes, I think some kind of grammar mistakes. Yeah, I found some kind of grammar mistakes. And that could have been that point five. Like, yeah. I seriously, right? Um, if guys, if you if you don't leave time to proofread, you you're you could be lowering your score by a whole band point you know what i mean like proofreading is so important okay so the way that paulina increased her score to that seven that she needed beyond that 0.5 enormous gap challenge that so many people are frustrated with saving time with templates and having extra time to check your essays. So important. All right, Paulina, is there any IELTS tips that you think really helped you on test day to get higher scores than you actually needed? Like any, any bits of IELTS advice that you want to share with our listeners today? I think the main, uh, the main advice for me is just to relax. I think everybody tells the same, <laughs> right? Yes. Because uh, if you are relaxed, it will help you a lot. Yeah. So how do you relax though? I mean, I'm, that, it's great <laughs> advice, right? But like how? How can you feel more relaxed on test day? Um, I think for me, uh, I felt relaxed because it was my fourth time. I knew what to do <laughs> and I took your test. I think uh, that's why I felt relaxed. And also my husband helped me a lot. <laughs> he was... Uh, with me during the test day, with me and my daughter. <laughs> oh, lovely. And, uh, but he yeah. didn't have to take the exam? Uh, no, he took the exam uh, on the first time and he got the score that he needed. <laughs> oh, dang. So you're like, oh, I need to do this. Yes. That's lovely. Yes. I think <laughs> having, having support is is it means so much on test day right and through the preparation yeah. process because like if of you're course, feeling frustrated in the preparation process you're gonna be anxious on test day like that feeling is gonna yeah. carry through to test day so being part of an online community i think is very important right if we don't have that immediate yeah, support in the household like paulina um being part of our <laughs> facebook group i think is huge support did you did you participate in our facebook group much yeah uh not much but i did <laughs> okay <laughs> awesome yeah you guys if you're in the three key system you can get answers to any ielts questions you have in our facebook group if you're just using a textbook if you're taking a class you don't have access to that teacher 24 7 so Huge advantage of Three Keys IELTS, guys. If you are curious about the system, go to allearsenglish.com slash K-E-Y-S. All right, Paulina, tell us your next steps. Now that you're finally done with IELTS, you nailed that seven on writing, finally, 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 what does that mean for you? Like, what are the next steps for you and your family? Uh, the next step is just to earn money and go to Canada. <laughs> okay. <laughs> I think that's I think that's a clearer path than passing IELTS, right? I feel like yeah, IELTS yeah. is like 
just this, uh, it seems like just this extra silly requirement and it's so important and it's like the toughest obstacle for so many students and it's so frustrating. And now that you're done, you could relax and just like focus on building up that bank account, fill out all the forms. I know immigrating isn't like easy, but it's, it's time consuming. Right. But it's just a bunch of yeah. filling out forms and waiting. You're not, yeah. you're not like studying for a test. So different kind of frustration. So <laughs> Paulina, congratulations. We are Thank so you. proud of you. Um, <laughs> that's you awesome. So Thank you for coming on the show and sharing your story today. Thank you for having me today. Thank you, Jessica. <laughs> All right, Paulina, have a good day. Bye. Thank you. Bye. <laughs>